When most people hear duck, they lay down or duck for cover, but not me. I enthusiastically look around in hopes of seeing a duck. I love ducks, and that's why today we'll be discussing ducks and their qualities. No doubt you've encountered ducks in your life, whether up close or at a distance, but you probably didn't stop to examine their diet, communication, feathers, or personality. But I have. Having ducks of my own for the past two years has been a huge eye-opener for me, showing just how spectacular they really are. I've noted the way they interact with each other and even with me, and I've performed extensive research on them about their physical properties, and I've had an interview with someone that has a similar passion for ducks that I do. Although oft, often overlooked as common, mere common animals, ducks are extraordinary creatures with incredible characteristics that make them worth learning about. I'm here today to prove to you the remarkability. To, today we'll discuss their bills, their communication abilities, and their waterproof nature. To begin, let's take a look at the outstanding tool that helps ducks eat an astonishing variety of foods, their bills. Uh, the shape of duck bills is specially designed for their eating habits and living. Dr. Brian Davis, who is a DU regional biologist in Arkansas, mentioned in an online article updated in 2021 entitled The Scoop on Duck Bills, that the shape of dab dabbling duck bills in particular allows for optimal foraging, enabling your common mallard duck to consume everything from grains, small seeds, insects, plant matter, crawfish, salamanders, frogs, and even small fish. I personally have witnessed my duck's bills and actions, and you can too, as I give Casey her favorite treat, mealworms. Okay, thank you. Okay, additionally, their lamellae prove to be essential in their digestion. You may first be wondering what lamellae are. We'll put simply, Lamellae are small comb-like structures inside of duck bills that act as a filter and look like teeth or a serrated knife. Notice their unique shape in the following photograph. Dr. Brian Davis mentioned earlier states that ducks can have up to 200 lamellae in their bills. He elaborated stating that while ducks don't chew their food, their lamellae assist in their digestion process by filtering or straining out unwanted items like mud or excessive water while leaving food that the duck needs like insects or vegetation. Next, let's take a look at their second remarkable capability, their communication patterns that they show. First, ducks can communicate to warn flocks, flock members of danger and also frustration. <clears throat> Today, we'll specifically be focusing on the communication of adult female ducks. Jennifer Cross, a biologist associated with the conservation research for Ducks Unlimited, stated in an article entitled, Waterfowl Vocalizations. Many of us are familiar with the high intensity squealing call that the female wood duck makes when it is disturbed. And how true that is. I too have witnessed that communication patterns with my own ducks when there's danger present or when they're frustrated about something. Furthermore, ducks can convey many additional messages in their vocalizations. In a brief interview I conducted on February 11th with Matt Lyson, founder and caretaker of waterfowl at the Michigan Duck Rescue and Sanctuary, he mentioned various communication patterns that he's witnessed with the ducks he cares for and highlighted the social instinct of ducks. He likened ducks' vocalization patterns to those of humans that yell for their friends to join them nearby. He also mentioned that ducks have a vocalization that conveys comfort, describing it as a sort of mumble and chuckle sound. And finally, he mentioned the similar sound that ducks make when eating to alert their flock members that there's a food in a certain location. Listen closely to the sound made by my ducks when enjoying treats. Finally, let's examine one last characteristic of ducks. That third and final characteristic is their amazing waterproof nature. Ducks produce a special waterproof gland, excuse me, ducks produce a special waterproofing oil in a gland near their tail that's called the preen gland. An article updated in 2020 from animalcorner.org 
stated that the ducks pick up that oil with their head and beak and then smear it all over their body to make the outer feathers waterproof. Notice the truth in the, ex in the expression, like water off a duck's back, as you observe the following video. This is an important design feature of the duck because it enables the duck to spend most of its time in or near water where ducks often feed, dive, copulate, and even raise their young. This waterproofing even proves to be to help ducks be hardy and stay warm during winter months. Josh Cassidy, a wildlife biologist and filmmaker stated in an online article entitled, What Actually Makes Water Roll Off a Duck's Back? And the article is from 2020. Although the dense microstructure of their feathers and applying copious amounts of preen oil each help insulate aquatic birds from the elements, it's really the combination of the two that allows them to stay warm and dry, even in the chilliest of ponds. This waterproofing is really what allows a duck to be a duck, swimming to its heart's content. The things we've discussed today are far from being the only notable things about ducks. The list of fascinating characteristics of just this one amazing creation goes on and on. But having discussed their uniquely shaped bill, their complex and diverse communication patterns, and their completely waterproof feathers and body, I truly hope that you've come to appreciate this amazing animal a bit more. So next time you see a duck, take five minutes to appreciate it, watch it eat, chatter amongst its friends, and swim happily. Because it's my guarantee that the pure joy that radiates from a swimming and splashing duck is 100% contagious. Thank you.